Hello everybody, I'm meteorologist Dan Drew with your weather on demand for UpperMichiganSource.com. We have a winter storm warning in case you haven't noticed for the entire Upper Peninsula tonight. That'll last until early on Saturday morning and we're going to see quite a bit of snow across the Upper Peninsula and uh, even some sleet and freezing rain as you head further south. On satellite and radar right now, we're starting to notice that some of this is making its way into the Upper Peninsula uh, this evening. It's going to take its time before it starts hitting the ground, but uh, we are are starting to see that move in on satellite and radar. We'll zoom out a little bit and you can see you can see this system right here and it's packing a few, uh, some extra rain and snow mix or rain and sleet. I should say a little bit further south and east and along the western portions of this it will be all snow. We'll zoom out even further and this system has also been causing some tornado watches. So some severe weather along with all of this in as well. So it's quite the gambit of uh, weather today across the United States. And uh, what we're also noticing is a big contrast in temperatures from south to north. And that low pressure system just rides up along that contrast. And we will see that uh, low pressure system make its way into northern lower Michigan by tomorrow. So that low pressure right now is in northwestern Missouri, and that will slowly make its way into northern lower Michigan by tomorrow morning. And then we will start to see some of that heavy wet snow as long along with some of that sleet and freezing rain as well. And then by Saturday, high pressure begins to build in. The snow tapers off, but our uh, cloud our uh, skies stay mostly cloudy in many of those areas. And then by the time we get to Sunday, we're looking at uh, another system that is, is building in the southwest that could skirt us early on Monday and Tuesday, but we will keep an eye on that for you. Snow totals across the Upper Peninsula expect the heaviest snow to fall along uh, the Keweenaw Peninsula and into parts of Ontonagon County and northwestern Barriga County, 14 to 20 inches, and some areas could see locally higher amounts than 20 inches. So that is very uh, unfortunate, I guess you could say, but we are seeing uh, some snow uh, about 12 to 16 inches as you head a little bit further east, and the snow tapers off as you head further east. By the time we get to around Menominee counties, uh, we could see along the Lake Michigan shoreline less accumulation in terms of snow, but we could see more sleet and freezing rain. So uh, we'll say uh, snow accumulations about two to eight inches. And then as you head along the Lake Superior shoreline, we get closer to six to 10 inches. But that two to eight inches is going to be nothing to frown about because it still will be very, uh, very tricky in terms of travel across the entire Upper Peninsula. Overnight, we'll see temperatures in the mid to upper 20s, but that's not going to be the big story. It's going to be all about the snow and sleet and freezing rain rain overnight with easterly winds at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Then for your date tomorrow, again, the heaviest snow falling in the western Upper Peninsula with highs right around 30 degrees and those northeast winds transitioning out of the north at about 10 to 25 miles per hour. And then as we head into the central Upper Peninsula, we'll see 30 degree temperatures again with northeast winds transitioning to north at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. But then the snow gets a little bit lighter as you head north and east and we start to see that sleet and freezing rain continue early on in uh, the southern and eastern portions of the Upper Peninsula. As we head to the eastern upper peninsula, temperatures reach the mid 30s, but we're starting to see less snow as we head across the eastern upper peninsula with a few chances of that sleet and freezing rain as you head along Lake Michigan. Your TV six day forecast. Well, we start to see temperatures closer to average for Sunday and Monday and into the next week, but we're still having to get through all of this winter weather. So uh, the big thing is be careful if you have to head out over the next day or so because travel will be very treacherous. Have a wonderful evening.